Welcome to the Services Marketing website. This is a quick overview and walkthrough of your Wattle site for this semester. First thing to appreciate is that the Wattle site has been built on the theoretical frameworks that underpin the subject. This site is designed to help me reduce inconsistency and heterogeneity in the subject delivery by providing standardized pre-recorded video elements such as this one so you can go back to them and get the same answer twice. A couple of the fundamentals of the site, we have the course announcements which will be used to give you an alert when content, major pieces of content are released to the site. The Echo 360 will capture whatever takes place in the Maori Ray Theatre between uh, start and finish of the seminar time. It may not always be useful but it will be a record when it works, it will be a record of what took place. We have the textbook as a digital text. Look, buy the book. Yes, it's an additional cost that goes with the, su with the subject, but bottom line is, it's like buying a, an Xbox or a PlayStation and buying no games for it. The course is your platform. This is your software that helps it make useful. Get the book. The book will support your learning and your, uh, it'll make things better for you over the uh, objects duration. We have a couple of assets on board that I've created for the semester. Uh, first up on the list is the class review template. This particular object is here for the express purpose of giving you a consistent and ongoing way to organize your notes. You'll see that you are able to review a class tie it together, what was in the chapter, and to the questions of what do I need to come back and review later? What do I understand? What do I least understand? What ideas out of this work well towards the assignment, the first assignment, the second assignment? What ideas out of this work towards the areas that the questions and the final exam are going to cover? This is a self-guided, self-prepared study tool. I'm not going to collect these. I'm not going to review these. They're here for you, for your benefit to do with as you see fit. Let's get this right. Now, on a week by week breakdown, we're going to use week one as our case exemplar, but it works a little something like this. There is a briefing video. Now, these have been pre recorded in advance for the whole of the semester. They are here to provide you with a sense of structure and guidance so that. Should you choose to do the entire course remotely, once a week in the pre-record, I'm going to say where you should be at in terms of the reading, the preparation, the tracking on your assignment, and what we're doing, roughly what we're doing in class that week. It may or may not be consistent with what actually happens in the class because I reserve the right to apply heterogeneity as a theoretical framework and change things based on the room. But they are here to give you structure and guidance. They are time sensitive insofar as they are set to go off before, a little bit before the class, and to a certain extent they're set to go away because they're meant to be perishable, they're meant to be a temporary part. They are briefing for that week and then they can go away. Within each week you will find a summary PowerPoint deck. This deck is basically the absolute minimum highlights reel of the chapter. It will be supplemented by me producing a video, the deck I will use in the classroom and the deck that I will give the course video. For those of you who are currently going, oh, that's too much stuff. Each of these is a way in which you can choose how to engage. This is the highlights reel, absolute bare minimum. If you know this, you're covered. Each chapter comes with a supporting manual. That supporting manual gives you what the chapter covers, what the learning objectives do, what your uh, appreciation, what you should know at the end of that chapter, a set of self-directed review questions. If you can answer these questions, you are on track for knowing your content. A reading summary, basically there are assigned readings in each week and within those what we are looking at getting you to do is 
use these assets, these readings, towards your assessment tasks. So you have the chance to do the reading, take a few notes to it, then also look to say, well, how does what I've covered in this chapter link to the first assignment, the second assignment, the exam? You will note that they are connected in essence to the course review template. You will see that there is a connection of how does this link to the exam questions. The aim overall is to try and create an environment in which you are studying, engaging, working with the content as we go through the semester rather than go, oh, it's week 11, I should look at the exam now. Let's give you the chance to do this in the most comfortable way possible, over time, consistently, and structured. The other aspect to the Wattle site that is of importance to you is when there are the pre-records or post-records will be the weekly content videos. They will be links that are sitting here. Click a link, follow the link, it's a YouTube video, watch the video, see how you go. For the assessment tasks, they are flagged with the little icons on the side here. They have a turn it in submission point here. They will have a supporting document there. Each of these assessment tasks has a document that will be given version numbers and iterations. Highest version number is the one that you should be most uh, regarding as the most useful scorecard. In particular, the other aspect here is that the Submission should come through, turn it in. When we get to feedback and returning assignments, I will do another course video around how to make best use of turn it in. But finally, the last wrap up element of this particular subject domain is this Waddle site is effectively the digital service scape for services marketing, semester two, 2019. We have a two hour face to face and an expectation of three hours worth of content. There is one hour to be handled through digital platforms, through content on Wattle, through videos, through support materials. There is also an expectation that you spend about seven hours in self-directed learning. Those are the readings and the other things. As much or as many hours as you can, as you see fit, it's a self directed, co-created, co-produced subject. The theories that underpin services marketing are present and practiced in the way we deliver the course. So it's an experiential lived event. This asset is here to both support you, but also to provide you with an experience of services marketing as it happens real time and live. So use it, apply it, co-create with it, do what you see fit to carve your path through the subject to create your own journey to support what you want to achieve and how you want to achieve it.